Next week, it is Christmas. Two weeks from now, it's 2020, a brand new decade. And if you are like most people at this point of the year, you cannot wait for the break, for the vacation, for the time off, the fact that you can leave the daily grind and your roles and responsibilities behind and just have a break. But here is the thought that I have. Is the vacation version of you, in fact, the real you? I know this is a really strange thought, whether the vacation version of you is in fact your true self, but follow me through this. When you go on vacation, you are leaving your everyday life. I have this excuse or this reason to literally stop coming into work and spend two weeks with my family and watching movies and hitting the gym and doing all of these things, all of these projects, all of these dreams that I, that I have. You feel free, you are doing new things, you have new adventures, you have time to do all the things that you wish and hope and dream about doing. You are focused on you. You're not focused on the boss or the work or the clients or the responsibilities or paying the bills. You are 100% focused on whatever it is that you want to do. I have noticed every time that I take a break from the daily grind, I start to think more creatively. I start to feel a lot better. I start to focus more on the things that I could dream about doing and accomplishing and taking the steps that I need to take towards achieving it. And then I come back to real life and suddenly I don't have time for it. I can't do it. The magic is gone. The feeling is gone. You know what I'm talking about, right? You come back into work and within an hour of being at work, where was the peace? Where was the energy? Where was the excitement that you built up while on vacation? It's gone. And so I believe that the vacation version of you is the real you. That's the boldness that's willing to seek out and try new things. The person who's willing to put themselves in new situations where things aren't under your control. Maybe it's the version of you that spends a little bit more time resting to ensure that you feel good and get a good night's sleep and all of those things because you've had such a crazy day. Maybe it's the person who spends a little bit more time connecting and giving some room to connect in your busy life with your loved ones. For me, it's sitting down with a notepad or a book and actually thinking about all the things that I want to do in my business, in my career, with my brand, with all of these types of, with these types of videos even that we're creating. I can't help but sit down on vacation and dream of all the things that I wanna do to turn my business or my brand or myself into the version of me, my business, my brand, that I really want to have. Over the last two years, I've been able to lose 50 pounds. The majority of this really in the last six to eight months. And it wasn't just me eating better. It wasn't just the fact that I go to the gym more often. It was actually me fixing my calendar, my schedule. I realized that if I went to bed earlier, that I could get up earlier. And if I'm getting up earlier, I can go to the gym before work. And if I could go to the gym before work, I could start work earlier and then I can come home earlier. And suddenly, by me shifting my hours and just going to bed earlier, I'm not only feeling better when I wake up in the morning, I not only have time for the gym, I not only get to start work before the phone calls start and actually increase my productivity, but I get to come home earlier, which means I spend more time with my wife and my kids, and suddenly I have a happier and healthier life and home life. By literally just shifting my hours and going to bed earlier, all of these other things happened. And so that vacation version of you is the real you. That bold, healthy, happy, fun version of you is the real you. And so maybe you sleep more. Maybe you walk or do more and so you're feeling better. Maybe you're trying new foods or maybe you're just spending time digging into a book. Maybe you're on the beach. Maybe you have the sun on your face. Just think about all the things that you love to do on your vacations. And of course, the two weeks fly by. I have all of these plans and all of these dreams of everything and how great my, my two weeks off is gonna be. And then every year it comes to an end and even though it was great, I didn't even scratch the surface. I didn't even do half the things that I planned to do. And so the real thing here is to understand, notice and watch what that vacation version of you is like. Are you more fun? Are you bolder? Are you doing more things for yourself? And then fixing your schedule and your life when you come back to real life to make sure that you're always working those things into yourself. Give yourself the time in your calendar and your schedule to have those moments to work these things in. And within a few months, you'll not only start to feel better, but you won't be so desperate for that next vacation 
So next time you are on vacation, you are on a break, you are away, consider where your mind takes you, where your thoughts take you, and how you feel. Because those things worked into your daily life may just take you to the place that you're actually meant to be. Well, I'm super excited about 2020 and the new decade to come. I know that we all hold on to our past. If you wanna know more about how to get over your past and let go, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot, and I will see you there. It is 2020. What is going on? Guys, what's happening? What is happening? Oh, you're kicking the box.